you haven't seen any sheets to discuss today so i'm gonna i'm gonna discuss demo uh, writing demo okay 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 are you for or against article it's a very important subject in year 10 11 and 12 for or against and today's session we are going to discuss this picture what can you see in this picture what can you see here more is it, um, a, is it a countryside what can you see countryside countryside how do you know is it a countryside because uh there's no like uh buildings like high buildings not really yeah. modern yeah or like it just yeah. looks like there's like, cause like okay. this, I think the beach is beside us or something. Yeah. Are you for or against living in the countryside north? Against. Against why? I love the city more. You love the city more. What are the advantages of the cities that are that are now in the countryside? What are the advantages of living in the city? Uh, and like we can go to. Like any place, any time without without having like to drive for an hour, or like technology is better in the like yeah. there's technology the more. Traffic is easier than more like malls, yeah. there's malls and stuff. Hostels. Huh? There are a lot of schools, a lot of hostels. Traffic yeah. Is yeah, 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 yeah. But some people prefer living in the countryside. What do you think is the advantage of living in the countryside from your point of view? Um, just with being with nature. Yes. Um, like living in like old tradition houses. Some people like that. I don't know. Yeah, mm. that's nice. Yeah. Something like that. They enjoy fresh air. Yeah, nature, There's fresh air. The there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now. For or against article, which of the points are the advantage, which are the disadvantage of living in the countryside? <laughs> Number one, no shops nearby. Is it advantage or disadvantage? Disadvantage. Yes. No hospitals nearby. Disadvantage. No noise from traffic. Advantage. Low warehouse prices. Advantage. Safe place to bring up children. Disadvantage. Disadvantage is the countryside. There is no safe place to bring. Yeah, up. it's not safe. Like it's no. all nature. It's all nature, and like I don't know some animals, whatever they live in the nature. Hey, she, you know. There are a lot of animals. You have a wrong point of view from the uh, like countryside, countryside. Like, like there there aren't like as many rules as there in the city. Yeah, like there's not a lot of government intervention. That's what. Yes. So let me move to another point. Far away from friends, are you far away from friends? Yes. Long car journeys to school. Disadvantage. Health environment. Advantage. That's nice, no failure. Now he now determine uh, the advantages and disadvantages. Advantage here are no noise from traffic, lower house prices, safer places to bring up children because the countryside is more is safer than the city, by the way. It's a fact. The countryside is safer than the city. Well, we okay. have, yeah, we have health environment. The disadvantages here are no shops nearby, no hospital nearby, far away from friends, long car journey to school. So your point of view is right about 95% or 99% you are right. Now okay. let's move to our essay. How to write an essay describing for or against? Because it is an important uh, topic in your grade. Number one, we start writing the introduction to our essay. We start to introduce our topic uh, because the writer or the teacher should know what are you talking about. You write a short paragraph about your topic for the introduction. After that, you move to the second paragraph. Second paragraph talk about the advantage of living the countryside, the advantage of living the city, whatever it is. You write some advantage. And 
we should have connectors or linking words. Why should we have linking words? I will show a list of linking words right now. These linking words make your writing in a uppercase or higher case. When we correct your uh, sheets on writing, as a teacher, we, number one, uh, see your style in writing, uh, the connectors. Are you using connectors or simple sentences? If you write simple sentences, you will have low grades. Okay, because you are now uh, in a advanced level, so you should write using connectors. Connectors like what? Like after, huh, before, however, on the other hand, all in all. Okay, first, secondly, and I will show them. I will show the, now. Number three, when a paragraph will be about disadvantage of the place or disadvantage of your topic, at the end, we write our conclusion. Our conclusion, we can start with words like all in all to start with, to sum up, and so on. So your essay should include at least three paragraphs. At least. Okay? Yeah. You can write paragraph, five paragraph, five, six, seven, and as you like but at least three paragraphs. In your advantage, we put the points we discuss, example about the country side, the reason, results, and effects, as you told me. You are very good at speaking, by the way. Power mm -hmm. we write about the disadvantage in the same way. Now, look at these topics or these paragraphs. We have some highlighted words like one of the main advantages of moreover in addition finally these are the linking words i'm talking about on the on the other hand what is more can you replace this words no can you give me the synonym of this words on the other hand yeah uh however very good fascinating what else however Although, uh, yeah, that's even okay. though, yeah, even if they are synonym for on the other hand, can you give me moreover? Can you give me the synonym of moreover? In addition, yes, good. Furthermore, okay, uh, more, I don't know. <laughs> Furthermore, in addition, moreover, can you give yeah. me synonym for finally? Con and co to conclude? Yes, that's good. What else? Uh, uh, thirdly, lastly, lastly. Lastly, good. All in all. All in all, yeah. Yeah, to sum up. In yeah. short. In short, yes, they are, they are what? They are conclusion. We call them mm -hmm. transitional words. Like, like this mm -hmm. part. I put them in a list to be clear. Uh, the first reason is these are transitional words. The second reason is if you are talking about the after you yeah. classify the second first reason mathan for pollution is, is the factors inside the cities. The second reason is the third reason is and so on. If you want to put them in points to write the paragraph, we say to start with first of all, okay, in the first place. I'm gonna write about the countryside. These are phrases to start with writing. You can say also, uh, another reason is uh, secondly, thirdly, as you can tell me now, when you uh, talk about contrasting, contrasting will say on the other hand, on the contrary, however, however, nevertheless, although yet, they are contrasting in spite of this bite, it can be argued that but on the other hand, while even though one can argue that all these words for contrasting ideas, got it? Yeah. Yeah. All these words, we can add like last but not least, one major advantage of living in the countryside is one point of view in favor of living in the countryside is um, one major disadvantage and so on. We can 
end as I told you, all in all, all in all, we can end using a to sum up, to conclusion, to sum up, all in all, all things considered in conclusion. Why do we have a why did I wrote a lot of phrases or words? Uh, to vary your writing, to vary it. If you want to see, to write additional information, you say, furthermore, you want to write another information, you say, what's more, in addition to, besides, okay? Uh, yeah. Not to mention the fact that, that, and so on. So you should vary your style of writing. If you vary it, if you vary it, your teachers or your uh, an instructor will give you high mark. Uh, number one, Taban, we need capitalization. Uh, these words and uh, contrasting and uh, add more words to the topic, more points uh, to conclude. And I mentioned all the words here. Now it's your turn. It's your turn. It's time to write. What topic would you like to write? The country said, or the city, or another topic. What topic would you like to write? Uh, I'll write about the city. The city. Okay. So start writing about the city. Huh. I need the introduction now. What would you write? Introduction? Yes, I will show you the words, the linking words. Take from this linking words and they give me the introduction. Okay. So now I write it, خلاص. Take. Okay. You can say it orally at the beginning or first, and after that you will write it. Uh, orally, okay. Okay, yeah. let me think. Um, yeah. There are many advantages. Actually, no, 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 don't start with that. <laughs> don't start with start that. Start with a topic sentence like, the city, the city is very, very fascinating. The city is a very busy and fun place to live yes. in. It has many advantages and disadvantages. Good, that's good. But the advantages overcome the disadvantages. Yeah. It starts about body number two, paragraph number two. Uh, we will talk about the advantages now. Hmm. Yeah. There are many advantages in living to the cities as they overcome the disadvantages. Yeah. Uh, the advantages include the, the advantages in, you can say firstly, yes. First, yeah. Firstly, hmm. there are many advantages in living in the city than the countryside. Right. Like what? Those include yes. uh, having uh, having shops everywhere around you. Yeah. Secondly, uh, uh, what's what's the advantage? Uh, let me think. Yeah, you are you are completing the advantage. Firstly, you told me the first thing. Secondly. Secondly, now we talk about disadvantages. No, 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 no. I am I'm still in the advantages. You oh, yeah, okay. said one point. We need four points, five points. Yeah, okay. Secondly, uh, and it is funner for yeah. most people. Yeah. Uh, there are a, a lot of entertainment. There are a lot of entertainment in the city. Yes, like, there's like many the sources cinema, of entertainment. The theater, yes, the music. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Thirdly, yeah. what else? Thirdly. Thirdly, uh, there are many. Hmm. Um, many surfaces uh, or near surfaces, like the government uh, buildings. Yeah, the there are many. There yeah. are many big and nice buildings to live in. Which yeah. one can enjoy their life in them? Yeah, that's good. Fourthly. Fourthly, um, there are not many advantages, Ms. Saraha. Okay. Let me move to the disadvantage. Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Let me move to the disadvantage. What are the disadvantages of learning the city? The disadvantages in no, there's no natural air, like people can't get fresh air, and like um, it is uh, not safer than the countryside. Yeah. It is like 
focus no you didn't you know you use any connectors here i need some connectors yes yeah because i have to write first i'm saying this already yes okay that's why when i write i use Masana, i'm saying it orally it doesn't really come to my mind okay completely uh... Uh, Miss, what are their other disadvantages? Uh, you told me, um, you said there is no fresh air. Uh, yeah, you said yeah. you need more. It is not safer like the countryside. Yeah, that, 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 that's it, خلاص, hey? The transport, the transport, or the means of transport are... Yes, it is um, a very long way, for example, if kids want to go to school. Yes, uh, it's hard to communicate easily with my friends. Because yeah. the internet there is very, very weak. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, now I need the conclusion. All in, in all. Conclusion, on, in, con con yeah. in conclusion, there yeah. are many advantages and disadvantages to living in the city. But as the advantages overcome the disadvantages, in my opinion, I prefer living in the city as it is better more fun, more uh, more social, and just a happy place to live in. That's a nice one. Super. MashaAllah. Uh, I think we have come and reached the end of our session today. It's a demo session. Hope, yeah. hope you enjoyed our session. Thank uh, you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Uh, and I hope, inshallah, you just give any benefit of the event benefit. Uh, we have a lot of writing, like uh, descriptive writing. Yesterday, I was discussing how to write descriptive essay with uh, students like you. Okay. Yeah. I think it's a, a rich topic to write. Yes, how many students are in a group? No, I just uh, teach with one student a group. They are uh, they prefer to teach one by one. So you don't teach academy? with a group? Yeah, in this academy, I teach one by one. Okay. Ah, okay. Because uh, I, uh, cause I think uh, every one of you material from the other. Miss, please, can you explain this lesson? Uh, another girl uh, or another boy said, I need this lesson. So they are not, they don't uh, agree or accept the same lesson. Yeah. If you okay, want I get to that. accept a lesson, he sends the sheets. Uh, because of the schools are different, uh, as you know, every teacher handles the subject from his point of view. So how many the, classes are there, Miss? How many what? Classes. What do you mean by that? How many classes are there? Like, and you like we take I take like and you to learn from you how many classes will I take? Two sessions a week. Two sessions Two a week? Yeah. Uh, the session will be from one uh, hour and a half to two hours. Do you want more sessions? Uh no, not yet. I haven't decided anything yet. Yeah. Okay. I just I was seeing this uh, as a trial. If it's the first time to take a demo or to work online. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Hope you enjoy this uh, your first Okay, jumping. thank you, Miss. Thank you. Bye. Nice to meet you. Bye. Bye.